Hi, it's Sharon Sheldon here from Business Content PLR, and in this video I'm going to show you how to take your intro and outro video clips and insert them into your main video using YouTube's video editor. Alternatively, you can open your video in Camtasia or any other good video editing software and insert your intros and outros that way. I do prefer using Camtasia since I have more control over the audio and transitions, which saves me time overall. But the YouTube editor works fine for something like this, and obviously not everyone wants to buy expensive software if you're just starting out with video. So go to YouTube and upload your intro and outro video clips if you haven't already. I've already done it with the two clips I created using PowerPoint in my previous tutorial. Then go into your video editor and click on Create down near the bottom, and then click on Video Editor. If you already have a project going on, you'll need to create a new one by clicking on the drop-down box and New Project. Here I already have one started, but I haven't put anything on the timeline yet. You need to first drag your intro to the timeline, so look at all your videos on the right, grab your intro, and drag it over to the timeline. So I'm going to close that, and then drag the main video. Next, I want to close that up, and drag the outro. You might want to turn the sound off when you're working on this because YouTube will keep previewing the video clip every time you drag something onto the timeline. So here I'm going to drag the outro on. And now I just need to add some transitions. Close any editing box you have open, and then click on this little icon that says Transitions. That'll give you a whole choice of different transitions. You'll want to put one in between your intro and your main video, and then go back and add one in between your main video and your outro. Now let's see what they both look like. And there's the transition into the main video. Now let's take a look at what the outro looks like. I've just moved the scroll bar to the very end of the main video. Everything looks good, so I'm just going to go ahead and publish that. Click on the Publish button, and I can make other edits as well using the main video editor and obviously going in and doing the usual edits that you would do with any other video. I could even go into the video manager and edit the thumbnail or add a clickable link, anything like that. And we're all done! Your video is now rebranded with your own intro and outro, and if you created your intros and outros using PowerPoint, you can reuse those slides and just change the text every time you need to create a new intro and outro. If you keep the same music, the timings are already set. That means you can just change the text or design and go straight to the create a video section. So go ahead, give it a try with one of the videos you already have.